Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Shannon Quillen. If you're new here, you're very welcome. Or if you're returning, I'm so happy to have you. Thank you so much for coming back. As you can tell by the title, today's video is going to be another week of dinners, but with a twist. So here we have the Pinch of Nom recipe book. I'm sure you've probably seen this before. I feel like it is literally everywhere. But yeah, it has some really cool recipes in here. They're all very simple. They've got like fake aways, which is so cool and everybody loves. And yeah, they're very simple, very like normal foods. Sometimes you can get a recipe book and it's all like really complicated foods that maybe a lot of people maybe don't like. This lighting's really bad, sorry. I think I'm gonna move you. But this has a lot of like standard recipes that like a lot of people will love. So yeah, it's a very popular recipe book and I got it for Christmas and I've only actually made one recipe from it so far. So I thought it was about time I get some use out of this book. So for this week, we're gonna be making recipes from the Pinch of Nom recipe book. And I'm just gonna be showing you guys how I make them and then reviewing them, like what I think of them. And then I'll also let you know what my dad thinks of them as well. So yeah, it is currently Friday night. And I know Friday night is takeaway night for a lot of people, but as we're in lockdown at the minute, I don't really wanna go out and get takeaways because I just wanna minimize being outside as much as possible. So we're gonna go for a little fake away. So I'm gonna make this diet cola chicken. It's like a Chinese fake away. This is what it looks like here. It actually looks so, so nice. So I'm making it with some rice and some salt and chili chips. Basically just chopped up a potato and put some salt and chili seasoning on it, on them and um, they're in the oven. And then I'm gonna make this. It's busy chicken, veg, and then the like diet cola sauce. So yeah, I suppose without further ado, we'll just get started. Looks pretty simple. It's a really quick meal to make as well, actually. It's 25 minutes prep time and, or no, 10 minutes prep time and 25 minutes cook time. So that's super simple. Definitely, if you don't wanna cook for a Friday night, won't take too long. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get started. I think I'll start off prepping my ingredients. Here's our chicken already cooked. And now it's time for the weird bit. Time to add some diet cola. This feels so wrong. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so there's everything in the pan. Sorry, it's gonna steam up. But it actually looks and smells amazing. So I'm not complaining. Also, we had a bit of a disaster with the chips, what do you see? They all like stuck to the bottom of the pan, which is a disaster, but it's fine. Okay, and here we have the finished dishes. Okay, so it looks pretty good, I think. So I'm very excited. Let's give it a taste. Okay, so we've just finished our dinner. I personally really enjoyed that. That was so much nicer than I thought it was gonna be. I was like, how oh, does Coke work in a recipe? Like I've seen it plenty of times before, but I've never done it. So I was like, uh, I don't know how I feel about this, but no, I really, really enjoyed that. It kind of reminded me of like a chicken teriyaki kind of thing. And I didn't, like usually I don't like onions and stuff like that, but the onions didn't actually bother me at all. So yeah, I would give that a solid nine out of 10. That was very, very nice. And it was like a good, like satisfying fake away dinner with like the rice and then like the healthy-ish chips and yeah very much enjoyed that dad liked it but he thought it was too sweet like he found the coke a bit overpowering but he would never really drink coke success night one good evening guys so it is now 
Saturday night and it's time to make dinner again. So tonight's dinner is going to be this beef ragu fettuccine and it takes uh, two and a half hours to make which is quite a long time so I'm starting it early. It is currently, it's actually half four so it's not that early so I better get a move on. So yeah it looks really good. I'm not a big red meat fan. I like it the odd time like I like spaghetti bolognese and I like chili and I like a beef burger like the old time I would rather have a chicken burger. Apart from in Five Guys. Five Guys beef burgers are amazing. And the other one in London that we didn't have. What do you call it? Bunsen? Bunsen burger, I think. Um, other than that, I'm roast beef at Easter. Other than that, not really a massive red meat fan. But I thought this looked really good. And it kind of looks like spaghetti bolognese. So we're going with that. Pretty easy to make. It basically you're using stewing beef so that's not a thing I like, I like stew but we only ever have it like once a year. <laughs> anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. You're not really cooking for two and a half hours, you're just leaving it to stew. So yeah, first up I've got my beef all, you had to cut the fat off, I don't know whether that was like a health thing or whether that was like part of the recipe but I just did it anyway just in case. So there we have all the beef and you need to just brown it off and then put it in the pot with all your sauces. add my meat and my veg and all in with the sauce this already looks so good so i'm very excited about this and here we have the final dish so does it look like theirs i suppose a wee bit kind of okay so dinner has just been had it was really nice again um i did prefer last night but that would just be my personal taste i don't think it was anything to do with the recipe it's just I preferred the taste of the other one, um, but then dad preferred tonight. So yeah, I would definitely make that again. It was a lot more flavorful than like just a regular sort of spaghetti bolognese or anything like that. And the pearl barley in it was so good. I thought it was so random, but it really definitely added something else. So yeah, that was very good. Night two is a success. So let's see what happens tomorrow. Good evening guys, so it is the next day now and it's coming up to dinner time so you know what that means. Back to the Pinch of Gnome recipe book to try out some more recipes. So tonight I'm actually trying out four different recipes, that was three, four different recipes from the book because what I'm making is just a main, it doesn't have sides. So I thought I would try out some other sides as well. What I'm making is this honey chilli chicken. When I was younger, um, honey chilli chicken would have been my favourite meal from the Chinese. This is obviously quite a bit different to the Chinese honey chilli chicken that you would get in like a takeaway. But it's still honey chilli chicken and it looks delicious. I'm going to try making that. And then to go with that, I was going to make these. But I'm, I'm actually going to save them for another day. What I'm going to make is, I'm going to make these salt and pepper chips, which look super delicious, as well as this kicking broccoli. I like broccoli anyway, but this just looks 10 times better. Then also, where did they go? Yes, these sweet and sour crispy Asian sprouts. I love Brussels sprouts. Like, they're probably one of my favorite vegetables. So I definitely have to give them a go. So yeah, and I suppose we'll just get started. And yeah, let's get cooking.
a finished meal. It looks so good and it was actually really hard to make four different recipes at the same time but I'm very excited. Hello guys, so it's actually the next day and I completely forgot to update you after we had dinner. But last night's dinner was very good. The My favourite part was the Brussels sprouts but and my least favourite part was actually the chicken but I think that was my own fault because the sauce didn't seem to like properly marinate on the chicken and yeah I think that was my fault because the flavours were nice it just didn't seem to go right when I cooked it but yeah everything was so good I really enjoyed all of it and it was very filling I am kind of still full from it and it's currently lunchtime of the next day <laughs> so yeah it was also dad's favourite that was dad's favourite of the meals we've made so far so yeah very delicious was kind of like a it was almost like we had like a wee barbecue sort of situation going on so yeah night three was a success can't wait for tonight good evening guys so it is now night four of trying pinch of norm recipes and i'm not gonna lie it's been a pretty good run so far and i'm really scared that we're just gonna have a really disappointing meal because all of them so far have been so nice anyway let's not jinx it so anyway yeah i'll just get on with what i'm gonna tell you so this is what we're having tonight it is moroccan salmon and i'm very excited for it obviously this isn't all we're having so i'm just kind of making some of my own sides but then i also thought i'd give these a go because they look really good um this is the sweet potato rosties with a sour cream and chive dip so we're not actually making the dip i'm just making the rosties because you need 250 grams of fat-free Greek style yogurt and chives and we don't have chives and we do have yogurt but I don't want to use all of my yogurt because my yogurt's from breakfast. So I'm just going to make the rosties and then I'm just going to have some rice or noodles or like baby potatoes or something alongside that but obviously you don't need a recipe for that. So yeah, I suppose I'll start off with the potato rosties because I think they're going to take the most effort to make. And then I'll start on the sounds. So I was planning on grating two sweet potatoes, but that was such a pain to do. So I've decided I'm just going to grate one and then just roast this one with the salmon. So yeah, time for the microwave. Here is the final dish. There's their salmon and there is mine. So we have... Moroccan salmon, the sweet potato rosties, which I tried one, they're so good. I made a potato salad and then some Moroccan couscous there as well. Bon appetit. Okay, so dinner has been had and I just want to say that was the nicest one so far. It was so good. See those potato rosties? Mm, absolutely delicious. An effort to make, but so good. And the salmon, salmon went so good with the couscous and yeah oh my goodness that was incredible such a nice like summer dinner that was my favorite one so far if you make one thing from the pinch of non book make those potato rosties and that salmon incredible so it is now night five of our pinch of non dinners and tonight we're going for some hunter's chicken so this is what it looks like it actually looks incredible and it looks pretty easy to make so yeah that's what i'm making tonight so we're gonna have that and then i'm gonna make some wedges that I found on their website. It's pretty much just a really simple recipe for wedges. And I just thought that would be quite nice with that. And then probably just some simple veg on the side as well. So yeah, I'm very excited for this. I think this is gonna be like this most like simple one we've done so far, or like the most sort of like one that I would have made anyway, but theirs has a few more ingredients than I would have used. So it'll probably be a lot nicer than mine anyway. So yeah, without further ado, I suppose I'll just get started. And I'm very
Okay, so dinner has been consumed. It was really good. However, it was probably my least favourite of all the recipes so far. But I would eat it again. Like, it wasn't... It wasn't bad. It just wasn't my favourite. <laughs> oh, when you thought it was sauce, but it's actually a spot. Yeah, I did really enjoy it, but it just wasn't my favourite of them so far. Like, it, as I said before, I thought it would be quite a simple one. Like, quite a basic, sort of, just... Like, because at the end of the day, it was basically chicken and a tomato sauce with cheese. Which you can't really go wrong with. But it was nothing, like, mind-blowing. Wasn't as good as yesterday's salmon. But yeah, I enjoyed it anyway. It was a tasty dinner. Basically, they've all been a success so far. Just one more night to go. Evening, guys. So it is now night six of our pinch of norm recipes. And tonight we're going for a tuna pasta bake. I absolutely love tuna pasta bake. Normally, we would have just this Coleman's one, which is absolutely delicious. So I suppose we'll see if the pinch of norm one lives up to this because I really very much enjoy this one. Yeah, that's kind of why I picked this one because it's a dinner that me and my, my dad would enjoy and I thought I would try out their recipe. So I'm excited. After the past five nights, I've got high hopes. So please don't let me down tuna pasta bake or I'll be very sad. But it's got cheese and it's got pasta and it's got tuna so can it really go wrong? Don't jinx it, don't jinx it. Right, without further ado, I'm just gonna get on and start making and let you guys know how it goes. In terms of cooking, that was definitely the easiest one by far, by far to make. Um, so far this week that only took about 20 minutes whereas the other ones have been taking a bit longer. Maybe it's because it's the first time I was making them and stuff like that but I did find some of them were taking quite a while to sort of put together because there was a lot of elements to go into them whereas that one was basically just shove your tuna, pasta and veg in a pan and mix it all together and then put it in the oven. So that's where it currently is, it's in the oven and I'm just kind of waiting for it and yeah, I also did add, so the recipe doesn't include tomato puree. It didn't include anything tomato-y, but I feel like tomato is an essential flavor in a pasta bake, especially like a tuna pasta bake. So I just decided to take it upon myself to add in a bit of tomato puree. So yeah, other than that, I followed the recipe exactly. Oh, I did also add in some of my own vegetables instead of, cause I didn't put in sweet, or I didn't put in spinach, I put in sweet corn and i think that was it i also do just want to say that obviously all the meals that we have had this week from the book have had meat or fish in them and as i said in a video not that long ago i am trying to cut down on my animal product intake so i would be quite interested to look up and see if they have any really good veggie recipes or vegan recipes and stuff like that i'm sure they have a few but obviously the people who Kate and Kay are obviously not vegetarian so that that's not what they're focusing on. I'm sure they will have some that are because they have a lot of recipes. So yeah, just kind of waiting on our pasta bacon oil and I'll let you know when it's out. Okay guys, so it's actually a few days later now. Um, we had the tuna pasta on Wednesday and it's now Saturday. But I still remember what it was like. I did really like it and my dad really liked it and it was like really filling and everything. But it wasn't my favourite tuna pasta I've ever had. As I said, I really like that Coleman's one. And I probably prefer it. Like like I prefer the flavour of it. Because the Coleman's one was a lot more like tomatoey and creamy. And as I said, like it didn't that tuna pasta from Pinch of Nome didn't have any tomato stuff in it anyway I just added in tomato puree because I was like hmm I feel like it needs some kind of tomato and I'm glad I did because it gave it a bit of a tomato-y flavour but it was really nice but as I said I probably do prefer my Coleman's one um but I probably will make it again like it was super easy tasty meal I think it was quite healthy as well to make so yeah that was all of our pinch of non meals for the week. As a roundup, I very much enjoyed that. It was like great to try a load of different recipes. Um, some of them were, I don't want to, they weren't difficult to make, but there was kind of like a lot going on at once. I found so in that way it was kind of stressful. Like 
if you were coming home from work after a long day to make that. I don't know if you could be bothered. Um, but other than that, I really did very much enjoy them. The food was very tasty. As I said, I do enjoy cooking anyway. So it wasn't like a massive hassle to me, especially because we're in lockdown at the minute and all as well. So. But anyway, as I said, I very much did enjoy the meals. They were very tasty and I think they're all like Slimming World friendly and all of that if you are involved in anything like that, like Slimming World or Weight Watchers or anything. So it'd be great if you are. Um, I'm not, as I said, so <laughs> it doesn't really mean anything to me. But um, they were tasty meals, they were filling, they were, yeah, adventurous and fun to make and yeah, I very much enjoyed them. So overall it was a very successful week of dinners and I'll probably use a lot more of their recipes from their website and from their book. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit the Malonga's video a massive thumbs up. And if you would like to see more videos like that, like this one, then make sure to hit the subscribe button and let me know what other kinds of videos you would like to see. So yeah, I love you guys so much and I'll see you soon for a brand new vlog. Bye!